Hello everyone. In this video we're going to cover the use of a TENS unit. TENS units have been around for a long time and they are recommended for pain relief. TENS units cannot be used if you have a pacemaker or any other electrical device implanted in your body. They should only be used upon the advice of your physician and only after you've been properly instructed on how to use them. This video is done only for educational and informational purposes and it is not meant to provide you with hands-on or specific use of these units for your individual use. TENS units help to reduce pain by way of two mechanisms. The first one is that they block signals from the nerves to the brain, therefore decreasing the actual pain sensation that the brain records. This is done by interfering with the spinal gate mechanism of your nervous system. The second way is that they help to relax tight muscles by way of improving blood flow and opening the sodium and potassium channels of your muscle cells in order to help restore normal blood flow and remove lactic acid. For our headache patients, we do not recommend the first mechanism. Blocking nerve transmission can help reduce pain that the brain records, however it is usually secondary to the TENS unit stimulation which also causes muscles to get tighter and more dysfunctional. We have not seen this action to be beneficial to our patients. Therefore, we specifically recommend the second mechanism, which can only be accomplished by using a neuromuscular unit, or NMES for short. What you must understand is there is a significant difference between TENS units. If you were to Google TENS units, there are hundreds that come up all different types from all different price ranges. Most units work by the way of the first mechanism described, and again, we don't recommend this. If you already own a TENS unit, you must review its capabilities and determine whether or not it has a muscular relaxation setting, which describes the NMES version. If your TENS unit does not have NMES settings, you cannot use it for the purpose of muscle relaxation and re-education. The majority of our patients have very tight overused muscles of the neck and jaws. If you use a regular TENS unit, you may actually stimulate more tightness of the muscles, which is contrary to what you are trying to accomplish. What you are looking for are particular settings that are specific to muscle relaxation and re-education. For this video, we are going to show you an older R-STIM unit so that you can see in simple terms what settings we are using. So on this unit, you will have these particular settings. The first one is the ramp. This is the time that the current reaches maximum strength to cause muscle contraction. This setting should be at four seconds. The rate setting determines the number of pulses per second. We like a setting of 90. The on time setting is the time of stimulation, which should not be longer than four seconds. The off time setting is the time that there is no stimulation. This is where the unit turns off to allow blood to flow. Many tight muscles have decreased blood flow and excess lactic acid buildup. Improving muscle function can only be done by allowing rest periods between stimulations in order to allow blood to flow in lactic acid to be flushed out. The other setting that we have here is synchronous. This allows all channels to function simultaneously. Now that you understand what settings you are looking for, let's review the basic use of the NMES TENS unit to help relax the jaw and neck shoulder muscles. You must identify the major muscles that cause dysfunction in the jaws and neck. You start out by locating the trigger point of the trapezius muscle. This is done by crossing your arm without lifting it over to the other side. Take the middle finger and locate the trapezius muscle trigger point. It is important that you find the middle of this muscle and that it is not on the bone. You're going to clean the area with alcohol and then place a pad directly over these points. You'll repeat for the other side. Next, identify the trigger point in the masseter muscle. This is done by biting your back teeth together and feeling where the muscle bulges in the front of the earlobe 
and below your zygoma bone. Normally, this is about a three finger width in front of your lower earlobe. Remember, it is very important that this pad is placed below the bone on the muscle and not on the bone. Once your pads are placed, you're going to hook up your leads. Some units only have one set of leads or wires, while others may have two channels. Our unit here has two channels, with each one supplying two wires, just like in your car battery. One wire is red, and one wire is black. It is critical for you to understand that these wires are to be used in parallel and placed on the same muscles on each side of the body. You cannot cross these wires between different muscles. For simplicity, the left side wires go to your jaw muscles, while the right side wires go to your neck and shoulder muscles. If you see the same colored wires on the same muscles, you have, properly, you have probably hooked things up incorrectly. Finally, you will start the unit by stimulating the trapezius muscles. This is done by slowly turning up the voltage or the volume button. At first, you may feel slight stimulation. Also remember that the unit has a four second rest period, so you cannot rush into turning the voltage up too fast. It normally takes two to three minutes to get the proper stimulation strength. What you are looking for is muscle movement or contraction during the four second stimulation time and relaxation after that. As you can see here, the shoulders are contracting upward and then relaxing. The shoulders are actually lifting during stimulation. If these muscles are not getting stimulated and you are not seeing movement, then you have to keep increasing the voltage, but do not rush to do so. Once you feel comfortable with the trapezius stimulation, then you start the same routine for the masseters. What you are looking for in this case is your lower jaw to move up and down as though you are slowly clenching. If you feel any pain at all, stop the unit or simply unplug the leads. After about five minutes, this is the movement that you should be seeing and feeling. The key is to have your jaw, lips, and everything contracting. If this is not happening, then you're not getting the benefit from the unit. You must continue to turn up the voltage until you get to this point. We hope that the information provided in this video was useful for your own case. Feel free to contact us with any questions.